Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your uh, What's My Soulmate and my ex thinking about me reading. This is going to be for the sign of cancer. So let's see uh, what's your soulmate and your ex thinking about you for the month of September 2018. I will pull two cards for your uh, soulmate energy and uh, like what they are thinking of you and then I'll pull two cards for what's your ex is thinking about you for the month of September. Um, then I will pull one card uh, for additional guidance coming from the um, Miracle Cards by Lara Shah. So let's see what's up uh, with your partner this month. Be that your ex, be that your soulmate. So let me pull two cards for your for the energies coming from your soulmate first. So let's see what's what is your soulmate thinking of you for? Wow, well, thinking a lot maybe. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> let me shuffle it one more time so let's see what's your soulmate thinking of you for the month of september then i will shuffle it again to see what's your soulmate uh, sorry what's your ex is thinking about you maybe for some of you your ex would be your soulmate like it happened for uh, scorpions very strongly so let's see what's your ex thinking about you for the month of september additional cards from the Mecca cards I'll give it one more shuffle and then I'll just pull one card they are too big to you know shuffle basically so let me pull the first one I will read it in there and so let's see what is your soulmate uh, thinking of you in the month of september 2018 you do have the queen of cups and the page of wands um so so i believe that they build um you know the soulmate the person um For those of you uh, who are still waiting on for their soulmate to reach out to you it i believe they think of you or uh, they think of you as uh, uh, as a very emotional, very caring, loving person, um, and and they believe that you know they they can have. Um, I don't know why I'm picking up the energy of a Pisces here uh, too strongly. Maybe the person, uh, like you know, the person who is your soulmate. Maybe they uh, they are Pisces, and it's like you know they believe that they can have that connection with you being a water sign they they might be of they might belong to any of the water signs maybe because i do pick up that energy very strongly that they believe that um they could see themselves in you it's more like you know that kind of a bond they look into uh they look for in uh in you because they believe that you would be as emotional as expressive as they are and um and it's like you know they they believe that you will give them the um you will give them everything that they desire of and they believe that you are very giving very uh loving very understanding um and it's it's more like you will give them the strength to move on in their life with the queen of cups that's the energy i'm picking up it's like they believe that you are very um you know angel like it's like you know that's the energy i'm picking up very strongly with this queen of cups here and um but yeah i do believe they will have more expectation from you they might you know um knowing that you are a water sign too but they i believe that they will be looking for um for uh It's, it's more like I believe they will be looking for more, uh, you know, um, they know that you are sensitive and all that, but they would, uh, they, uh, they do pick up the energy of, you know, they could, they could, you know, when it comes to, um, you know, they, they believe that you would be passionate too, along with that, you know, sensitive uh, nature attached to your, to you and your soul. They do feel that vibe from you that you might be as passionate as they, they are, you know, they might not show it to you, but they, they, they do wish 
that you are as passionate as they are they 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 seek all of these things in you and it's it's more like you know they are hoping that you are exactly the way they uh, they desire it's it's like you know because it's um i do pick up the energy of a water sign very strongly because they they want somebody who could understand them they want somebody who could be equally you know um who could have a uh, who they can have a equal you know equal give and take uh when it comes to their emotions and when it comes to their expressiveness uh when it comes to their uh, you know passion um I, I believe nobody can beat a scorpion and you know when it when it comes to passion and all that so i do pick up the energy that maybe your you know uh, your soulmate maybe uh is from uh from a water sign and they do um they do see you as uh you know as one of uh one of uh, those people who who will be readily or happily giving when it comes to uh you know who will be very expressive as they are and um that's what they wish for when when they kind of you know when they approach you they 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 will give you the vibe that this is what they want because they i believe they are very expressive and um uh, they want the same from you and they might be uh might be uh, wishing you know they might think that you are uh you are you you would be you know um i don't know why i'm picking up the energies of they expecting it all to have you know and you it's like you know it's it, it seems like you know you it may be somebody who has recently you know met you and it's uh, it's like they are still trying to guess you know whether this person would be like this or that that's the energy i'm picking up very strongly for those of you who have uh, you know recently met somebody new um this person your soulmate could be that new person because it's it's more like they don't know you yet but they are kind of you know trying to figure you out and they are trying to you know it's it's like you know they are trying to know you more they they wish that you are you know passionate they wish that you are um uh you will you know uh give uh, fulfill their emotional needs and you know when it comes to their passionate needs too that's what they are wishing for it's it's not like you know they they don't see it in you as of now with the energies that i'm picking up i believe they are more into you know thinking about it as in um wishing upon it like you know it's it's more like you know they they are still in the process of knowing you so it could be somebody um he recently met it uh in 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 some kind of you know event where you went and it was something fun related something um i don't know it's it's something that they saw a glimpse of you uh, of uh, you as a passionate loving caring person and that's exactly what they are hoping for when they will approach you or you will approach you or when you will start a relationship with them because that's that's their first image of you i believe as uh, as the uh, as a queen of cups and the page of wands they they see you as uh, as these two you know um uh, combination of these two um what you know water and fire kind of energy they do believe that you do have all that they desire in you um and i i believe you will um i believe that this is somebody new it's not somebody from your past i don't think it's somebody from your past i don't uh I'm hundred percent sure this soulmate that um that is coming in your life in the month of September is somebody new. If you haven't met them yet, you will meet them in a gathering where you would be um in a gathering which is somehow connected to your passion. You both have uh, you know a mutual kind of passion towards something, and you will meet this person over there. It's like you know that's the energy I'm picking up with that uh, with those two cards. So let's see what's your ex thinking about you right now. Wow, you do have a uh, Knight of Swords and the Moon card. Um I don't know why I'm picking up the energies that they might be, you know, um on the waiting side to receive a communication from you. They they might be, you know, expecting it to come, but I don't see it going towards them because you will meet this new person. 
and you um they are too much you know thinking about you and the conversation that you used to have with this person because it's it's like you know that that kind of energy that i'm picking up with these cards um i believe you are not in touch with this with that particular ex of yours but they are you know heavily thinking about you it's like uh they want to communicate to you and they are expecting you to it's more like you know both the parties are kind of expecting uh things from you it's like um but this they are going to be disappointed those who are cross watchers i believe you will not be um you will not be receiving any communication from your cancerian um uh, partner when it comes to uh you reaching out to them or you know if you expect them to reach out to you that's not going to happen even if you would try they will uh not respond you back because they do have somebody new in their life so that's the energy very strongly i'm picking up with these two uh set of cards your ex um is waiting on for you to communicate and um and they are you know i'm feeling you know kind of um they might be thinking that you would be missing them or something like that and um but the in actuality in reality things are different because you would meet somebody new and you will be you know um having a fresh start at least it's it's not like you are going to uh get into a commitment there and then it's just that you will you know get to know somebody new and it's like you will be happy you know the cancerians will be happy to see this person and it's like you um but your ex would be expecting something else from you it's like you know that's the energy coming up for you for the month of uh, september when it's come to you um um receiving the energy from your soulmate and that from your ex so let's see what's the additional guidance from the miracle cards by larsha this is what you got let me read what it says the key essence in your relationship is honesty and clarity uh be true to yourself let go of all the worries and fear of the unknown so um i believe that you know it's uh, for those of you um uh who are you know cross watchers or even if you are a cancerian watching you know uh watching this i do believe that you need to be very clear about everything it's like you know the the guidance is for both the sides for your soulmates and for you as well um it's it's more like um you need to have you know if 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 i apply this card over here in this particular situation uh you need to be true to yourself uh, if if you are uh, you know i believe that that your ex is um your ex is basically not ready to put in anything uh, any effort to have a new or fresh or positive start with you it's more like you know they they um uh, I don't know why I'm picking up the energy that they they will not have anything solid to offer to you or you know and it's it's more like you know that ex connection is finished forever it's like you can drag it into your future but that's not worth it it's it's like you know you both will not have the same chemistry between the two of you even if you kind of you know come back together because i do pick up the energy that internally or you know it's it's more like you both know that it has already you know finished it's it's like there is no uh, uh no more pull and uh, push and pull that that you would be having if if that was meant to you know come back again uh, you know if you both were meant to come back together again your feelings towards each other would be different it's more like you know the other person want you know your ex is wanting you to communicate with them out of um uh, out of you know it's it's at least it's not from you know uh it's not from the perspective where they would want you to communicate to them because they love you it's it's more like you know there is some uh revenge or you know they want to have uh, they want to take uh their uh anger out or something it's like you know that kind of negative energy that i'm picking up with this ex card here or ex energy coming up for you for the month uh, uh this you know this is what your ex is thinking of it uh, thinking of the whole situation right now they don't they don't have anything positive to offer it's more like they um even if you go back to them um they they won't stick by your side it's like you know that's the energy that's the energy of your ex right there uh, should do um you know i i believe that you know you need to be um 
for for your ex for those of who uh those of you who are you know cross watchers i would ask you to you know kind of let go of whatever it was between you and this cancerian person try to relax and calm your mind you don't need to think about this person anymore even if cancerian person has hurt you in the past or if you have hurt them in the past but it's over now you need to understand this and try to move on in your life with the um, with positivity towards it with positivity towards uh your own life and towards the life of the other person that you are dealing with um for those of you who want me to kind of read the whole situ whole uh you know the uh the text written at the back of this card uh do let me know because i'm not gonna read it until and unless i'm asked to read because it's like you know it, it will get too long to read um but yeah i have kind of you know given you the hint which is coming up with this particular card that came up for you for additional guidance um for those of you um uh, there is one tip reason at the back of this card writing down your feelings will help you de-stress this is for your ex i believe that you know if if um um if if you are still you know kind of uh you know looking for a reply from this cancerian then um or if you are you know if you being cancerian uh wanting to have a message or communication from your ex kind of you know uh or you want to take out your anger on this particular person try to you know um let go of it and if you cannot let it go then try to write the write whatever you want to say to this person on a piece of paper and then just throw the piece of paper once you have written it out you will feel more um calm more relaxed you don't need to tell this person that this is how you you are feeling all you need to do is to let it out so you could either meditate on it you could either write it down and just you know just um trash that paper and you will feel better once you are once you have done this so um that's uh what is coming up for you i believe your soulmate is going to be somebody new leave your ex or leave your past behind and move on into a new future with this new person in your life and for those of you who are cross watching it um trust me you will have somebody or something better coming in your life once you kind of you know let go of the past and let go of the negativity that you were having with this person so just um try to um try to bring peace back in your life and then go for another relationship for those of you who are you know waiting on or who just met this uh, for those cancerians who met this new person in their life and um, i would i would ask you to that you know you need to come out of the past situation first heal yourself first and then get into this new relationship because i believe this person is going to be your soulmate is going to be exact the way you are they will know what you want they will know what you desire they will know how do you want to be you know uh treated in a relationship and they will give you exactly what you want so don't judge this person based on your previous relationship with this ex of yours because this person is completely different this person is completely different they can understand you better i believe so best of luck uh with whatever you are having in your life uh in your love life i will see you um in the next reading that i'll do um till then take care and if you are willing to get a personal reading you can reach out to me on my email id in the description box i will see you uh later on till then take care bye bye